Paul Yoon Chi Chun and 123 companions were declared blessed by Pope Francis at this Mass in Seoul during his visit to South Korea in 2014. They died for their faith during the Joseon dynasty. Reason for their persecution was the alleged danger to the social structure, which was heavily Confucian and was seen as endangered by Christians who called themselves friends of heaven, friends implying an equal relationship without distinction. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christianity, also in Korea. That is very true for Korea. There are holy martyrs of Korea, since they have given their blood for Christ. They have given their life for the faith. But where there is faith, we have to stand united, so that the world can see the logic of the gospel. And we have to live the word of God in our everyday lives in a quotidian way. The martyrs are venerated fervently by the population and serve as an example for facing today's challenges. I see that the world of today, the secularism, the materialism, the egotism, is growing, whereas Christianity opposes this materialism. Since Christ works in us, he develops the communion, he fosters a relation to others. With this joy and this liberty, we can go against the current of today and win materialism and egotism and secularism. Our Korean martyrs give us a great example as a mirror and as a model for the Christians of today. Two of the 124 martyrs had a special story. In order to live their full personal consecration to Christ, they had to get married to each other, but always with the intention to remain virgins. Blessed Lutgarda and John, for example, got married. They were married, but they never consummated the marriage. They did live as brother and sister. And they had a lot of difficulties, many temptations, but they persevered in their difficulty and retained virginity. So they give us an example, what does it mean to live a chaste life for the society of today? Bishop Lazaro Yu is convinced that the martyr's intercession will grant the grace to overcome worldliness today. For us, a challenge is retaining the fraternal communion and to overcome the world. We have to win the evil of the world, fruit of the devil. In Jesus we can be optimists. Also seeing these martyrs, we can be encouraged to go further. We will win. But there will always be the struggle against myself and against materialism and secularism. The church in Korea has more than 10,000 martyrs under different dynasties.